So that's this is not no real street, bro. Look at that, bro. bro I, I'm having an out of body experience right now. Look at this wall. Five, six, six or seven houses. Bro, I'm telling y'all, bro, this is not no real area. That house, the porch had a fan. Why would you need that? It's like, look at this right here. Literally like blocks of smooth stone. Like somebody built this in Minecraft, bro. This is not real. Like they're, they're playing in our face now, bro. Look at this crosswalk, bro. Never ever have I seen a nude colored crosswalk, bro. YouTube, what's going on, y'all? It's Mitch, and I'm back with another video, man. I know, I know, I know, I don't even have an excuse for myself. <laughs> my bad. My bad, bro. It's been a minute, bro, but I'm back. I'm back with another video, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna be consistent now. I said that like the last video. Hey, bro, we're gonna leave the past in the past. You know what I'm saying? Before I even start this video, y'all know I want to say I appreciate y'all for all the love and support. I love y'all right back. I appreciate y'all for liking, commenting, subscribing, viewing the vids, all that is stuff y'all do not have to do. I love y'all to death. Y'all know in my heart, beat is being for y'all, man. Y'all know I love y'all, man. I appreciate every single one of y'all. You know I'm saying for today's video, I reacted to this man going to a hood in Ohio. And I feel like I single-handedly proved that Ohio is not even real. I'm saying I feel like I did. I feel like I gave enough evidence to support my hypothesis. Hey man, so hit the like button, subscribe, hit that bell so you'll see every single time I post. So I'm saying, comment hashtag wrote the 60k in the comment section because it's really on the way. No, actually, it's really on the way. We just hit 59k. <laughs> That's crazy. I love y'all, bro. Hey, 60k really on the way, man. So I'm saying, yeah, bro, I'm gonna stop all that talking and I'm gonna get right into the video, man. These completely two different orders, right? Really? What happened? Yeah, man. Yeah. Hit me with a bike, ladies and gentlemen. So is this not a gang then? Because he's talking about he got hit by a bike. Is that supposed to be like, oh, because we're in Ohio? I, I really want to know why that was included. Like, did he get hit by a bike in the video? I'm Tommy G. We're on the block in Cincinnati. Bitch, I woke up feeling Y'all are so unintimidating, bro. It don't make no sense. They shouldn't sell ski masks to certain individuals. Some of y'all, like, some people out there shouldn't be alive. It's not even just white people, bro. It's people, it's, it's people everywhere. It's people everywhere. I know good and well I put on a ski mask, I would look so stupid. If I went to the store and tried to buy a ski mask, I hope they would tell me no. It's some people out there that they just need to say no. Bitch, I woke up feeling They should have told this brother no. They should have told him to get the hell out of the store. This is my first time ever seeing this tattoo. People be out there thinking about so many different stuff. I don't have no words. I don't even have a joke for this. I don't even have a joke for this. All I got to say is if I was a tattoo artist, once again, there are some ideas I would say no to. I can't help you with that, my boy. I would say this is the highest percentage of sketchy whites I've seen in the area. <laughs> <laughs> Tell the people what's up. What's good? I'm not afraid, bro. I'm not afraid. Y'all niggas, everybody grown too. That's the craziest part about it. But this nigga like 69. He's like in his 60s. You know what? It was already lame with all y'all grown out here with no, like nobody has a job. Everybody took this day off work collectively. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm assume y'all are unemployed. Somebody come get these thugs. <laughs> Somebody come get these thugs about the street, bro. Somebody come get this thug in particular. The thuggiest thug I see and this thug right here. Come get these thugs out the street. This picture looks a little different. Niggas wouldn't hesitate to call these up some thugs. These are not sketchy white boys. These are thugs. Why y'all not calling it what it is? These are thugs. Post outside somebody's elementary school. These are thugs. Before we head into the streets, let me tell you a quick story about Cincinnati. In 1788, Cincinnati was founded by three businessmen from Kentucky. Oh, a well, brother, I don't care. Brother, 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 brother. That's crazy though. Like the states had to get created. Like them three young men he put on the screen created Ohio. How does that work? Is this shit not real? I'm not gonna keep telling y'all that, bro. It's actually not real. Cause that don't even make no sense. The states got created. Cause if you really think about it, bro, somebody had to come up with the name Ohio, bro. Cause like, think about it, bro. Like Nebraska, that's not a word. That's not a word, bro. Nebraska's not a word. Nebraska doesn't mean anything but Nebraska. Like Arkansas, that's not a word. How they come up with that then? I guess you just got to put sounds together like until you get something that sound like it just flows. Like, when niggas was in the room, like, what we gonna call Arkansas? Like, niggas was in the room saying gibberish, throwing gibberish out there until somebody said Arkansas, and they were like, hold on. Arkansas. Nebraska. Nebraska. 
Nebraska, California. Like California just rolls off the tongue, bro. That sounds like it's a word. Now, I bet you that's not a word. I just Googled it, bro. California just means the state. It means nothing other than California. Back in the day, bro, I would have made that into a TikTok, bro. That just came to me. Y'all seen the thought process, bro. I would have made that. Oh, that would have been a TikTok. That would have been a banger. I ain't going to lie. I'd be looking at something that just come to me like, that shit don't make no sense. You know what I'm saying? Don't nothing make no sense. I came up out the blue and now they hate me. Now they hate. Yeah, they trying to steal my juice and try to play me. Like a you're not gonna you're not gonna force me to listen to that no i refuse to listen to that thug hey, you hey. got you're still playing that thug's music shots off in your bro i can't escape it y'all if you're eating too much sugar in your diet it's hard to feel good it's hard to feel strong we're gonna taste test i'll give you the berry one i think the berry one's a little bit right. better it's just so crazy how the videos differ like the white boys is on the block posted doing a celsius taste test they're on the block trying every trying to try every drink in the gas station no? It's like sparkling water with an extra razzle dazzle. Let's walk down to the house, man. I'll show you uh, where I jumped off the porch at. Do you think I should uh, do that? I've been noticing. I'm examining the drip. I'm examining oh, like the, 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 the surroundings. It's just too much open space right here. That like little bitty building has a huge ass parking lot. That's what it is. That's what's throwing off this. This don't look like a real place in the world, but. I think that's what's throwing off the geography, like, but also this street looks really weird. Like, this lead to nowhere. It like, this lead to nowhere. There's a lot of sketchy whites around here. Yeah. Why does he keep saying sketchy whites? Why don't you just call it what it is? There's a lot of thugs around here. Everybody else, you know, if they look a little different, they a gangster. Why you not call it? This nigga, no, he need to go in the house. He got on the rosary shirt. You need to go in the house too, bro. I ain't seen nobody bust out a Jordan shirt in a minute, bro. I imagine this being the last face you see, bro. Imagine you beefing with this nigga and he take you down. White guys that bread look butter. like they'll mow your lawn. You gotta say bread and butter. We cross the pole, bro. Bread and Wait, was that superstitious or yeah, what's yeah, going yeah, on? Yeah, bro, you don't cross the pole. Yeah. If you do, you do y'all niggas feel weird? I feel weird. Like, this street is called Hawthorne. The fuck type of Harry Potter ass street name is that, bro? Like, look at all this open space. Why the road so long? Like, this just look like somewhere I would be in my dream. And these niggas over here talking about we cross the pole. Like, this is like my dream. This is how my dreams be. My dreams be like this. You gotta say bread and butter or spit on that motherfucker. And why that of all things? Because if not, you it's bad luck. Why are you in sport mode? <laughs> I haven't been to Cincinnati before I gotta be ready. You good, bro. You can take him out of sport mode. <laughs> no one's gonna hurt you guys, bro. I promise. I wish he knew just how safe he was. Because this is not a real place. That's why you're safe. You're safe because there's no way this is a real area. Like right here is where I jumped off the porch at. Yeah, three. And when and, you say uh, jumped out the porch, what does that mean? Getting out in the mix, out in the streets, fucking around. Right here's why. I grew like there's just a singular tire on the street right here. Like somebody got into an accident and their tire just rolled over here. Type of shit that be happening in my dreams, bro. I don't see one reason why there would be a tire on a sidewalk. This is just not no real place, bro. The, the trees are so green. I'm not even stunned what they tell me, bro. I'm so thrown. I'm not. This is not an act, bro. I'm so afraid. This video giving me chills, bro. Where are these niggas at? I couldn't have been here because I would have started tweaking, bro. Look at the storm drain, bro. This elegant ass storm drain. Bro. I'm not tripping. Everything is wrong, bro. They either be circ like this is the a vent storm drain, like a storm drain, like a vent. Y'all niggas storm drain be looking like this, bro. I've never seen a storm drain like this. Have I? I don't know now. I don't know what's real and what's not, bro. Like, I have friends that live actually in that house, all up the whole street. I got my first gun when I was 12. Yeah, I actually stole my first gun. What did your folks think? Bro, nobody cares, bro. Where are y'all at, bro? Nobody cares about when you got your first haircut, bro. No one asked, bro. This house got a yellow door. Like, <laughs> bro, this house got a yellow door. I've never seen a house with a yellow door, bro. Where the fuck are y'all at? Like, I would have started losing my shit, bro. He's talking about where he got his first haircut at, bro. This house got a yellow door. My mom and dad were split growing up. My dad had a wife, and then my mom had... Her. What's the colors on these houses? Who painted them? I was mostly with my dad at a younger age, and then right before I did jump off the porch, I moved in with my mom, which probably influenced me to jump off the porch because I was in a different neighborhood. Would it be that she was at... It's too much going on. Like, damn near all of these houses are abandoned, and there's cars all up and down the street. 
Where are these people at? No, they, of course they don't live in these houses, bro. The houses are abandoned. These are not even people. Like, these cars don't even belong to anybody. It's just like decoration so this part of the world can look like it's real, bro. World building. They just world building with these cars, bro. That's all it is, bro. Because, like, where are these people at? There's no way these houses, this house don't even have a door. No one lives in there, bro. And if they do live in there, they do not have a vehicle, bro. I'm sorry. They don't have a car. Okay, and if they do, say this is that car. Say the person who lives in here has this car, bro. Cool. What about all the others? Oh, like 18,000 people parked on this street. The, the street is packed with people. Like, there's people pulling up for a graduation or some shit, bro. Like, this is how the cars be parked outside the school when there's a graduation, bro. I work and you kind of had a free run of the house? Nah, I mean, I just kind of did what I wanted. Left top apartment, dude there. His bitch used to smoke crack, but he used to sell crack and they used to cook crack up there. My mom was on heavy drugs, too. So it was. Bro, I'm so sorry that happened to you, bro. I am. You're still going. You're doing like an autobiography, bro. I don't know if like he asked you for that those that information. I really wouldn't know because I'm not listening. I'm so thrown off this green ass grass. Oh y'all, I can't focus, bro. I can't focus, bro. I can't focus. I've never seen. Look at this back here. This house got this fat ass wall and this little bitty ass window. That this is not no real street, bro. Look at that, bro. I don't know what he talking about, though, bro. Unfortunately, I can't give a comment on that, y'all. I can't react, bro. I feel like the video reacting to me. I just can't. Look at this green-ass grass, bro. Grass is not that green. This is the most saturated grass ever, bro. That grass is so green. It's like neon green. Like, what would you do if you went outside and the grass was neon green? You would lose your mind, bro. You would think you're tripping, bro. I, I'm having an out-of-body experience right now. Look at this wall. Say you stacking up, but I don't see shit. Let him drive the boat. He try to ride the wave. Got seasick. Mafia. Bro, y'all niggas are hell. I'm not intimidated, bro. I'm not afraid. Y'all niggas act like y'all taking yearbook pictures, bro. Like, why are you just sitting there like that, bro? I'm really mad at y'all, bro. Try to ride the wave, got seasick. Mafia up in this bitch, my back will weigh in 3 6. 2 a.m., dark 10. What would you do if this was your op? This is the ops. This is the opposition. <laughs> he said, come spin. Uh, what would you do if this was the last thing you ever saw? You got caught by your op. Jeremy, and this is the last thing you ever saw him looking down on you like this with this with the thinking face This is the thinking face. Jeremy, I want to crack a joke, bro But like I don't even have to say nothing, bro. I'm not even being mean. I could just the joke I could just sit here. I could just zoom in on your face like this here and look at the screen And that would be the joke Back in LKC shit. I don't know I don't know how I felt about it. That shit made me so, that shit made me so uncomfortable. That shit made me so uncomfortable. The way they had you look up and down from the ground like that, that shit made me so uncomfortable. Don't you ever do no shit like that again. I don't think he knew how close the camera was to his face and they did do you dirty, bro. I ain't gonna lie, I don't think that was your fault. I didn't want to look you in your eyes like that, bro. Like, that was crazy. We, One, we, we were two, fucked up, but we weren't. Three, four, five, six, six or seven houses. Bro, I'm telling y'all, bro, this is not no real area. That house, the porch had a fan. We weren't. Three, four, five, six. Bro, y'all, come on. You got to see what I'm talking about, bro. Bro, oh my gosh. I'm, I'm, I'm having like an out of body experience right now. Like, I get this is the trenches, but bro, I have never seen like a... The the fan outside the crib like that. That's actually scaring the shit out of me, bro. I've never seen that, bro. I've never seen it. I've never seen this, bro. This is not no real area. I've been telling y'all this since the beginning of the video, though, bro. And y'all think I'm playing. Like, y'all think I'm joking around. I'm overdoing it. I've never seen it, bro. I've never seen this, bro. I've never, ever seen that. And now, all of a sudden, everybody in the comments gonna have a ceiling fan on their porch. No, you don't, bro. You don't have, bro, no, you don't, bro. This is not the architecture of your home, bro. They didn't build that shit like this, bro. Why would you need that? Why, though? For what? What is it? What What purpose does that serve? Like, just in case you're standing on the porch for a long time and you get hot? In the, in the summer, I guess? I don't know. Like, there's no reason you would need that to be there, though, bro. You would never need a ceiling fan on the porch like that, bro. Like, I get we in the trenches, bro. But, like, if anything, you would think if there's going to be someone who's going to put a ceiling fan on the porch, it would be a rich nigga. That's just some rich nigga shit. Like, they just doing, adding shit they don't even need. Like, heated floors. Ceiling fan on the porch. Why is this in the trenches, bro? Why is it here? It shouldn't be nowhere, bro. It should, nobody should have no fan on. Like, you should be condemned if you have a fan in your, like, 
you should actually be condemned. That shit should be a sin. Six or seven houses just on this street. We you broke, broke into, into your neighbor's a home? A, a lot of them were abandoned at the time. So did you ever get caught stealing? Yeah, I actually got caught breaking into this house right here and went to jail. Too. That is one thing about the trenches, though. I give him that. I give him that, bro. You know that that's the only thing here that's making sense. Is the the, the houses in the trenches be the weirdest colors ever, bro. I used to live in this white and green house. They do be the the, the dumbest colors ever, bro. I ain't gonna lie. The houses be the dumbest. You'll find a purple, green, and blue house, bro. And the, I ain't gonna lie, bro. That's the only thing. I just I don't think I've ever seen that shade of green in like that shade of green doesn't really exist. That's not yellow. That's not green. What is it? I'm not watching this whole video. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's the red bird. You what went to jail for that? Yeah, I like, Who said, yeah, we're going to make that house red and green? This was like 2008. I had the, uh, the all camo bay hoodies, but I remember I hung it up on the fence and it was snowing outside. Look at this wall, bro. Like, look at the way the windows are on this wall. Now, I know, bro. I know I'm supposed to be reacting to the video, bro. I understand that, bro. But like we not we gotta focus on the bigger picture. Nobody gives a fuck about what Jeremy is really talking about. Like I'm trying to bring awareness to the bigger picture. The bigger picture is where the hell are they at? Where are we walking into right now? It's a uh, brand new in the making tattoo shop. My brother's tattoo shop. I walk up in this bitch with confidence. Hey, that's just how I'm rocking. No I walk up in this bitch with confidence. Okay. I walk up in this bitch with confidence. Yeah. I walk up in this bitch with confidence. I walk up in this bitch with confidence. Stay black flow, you can put it on this stay black flow. You got Okay. I'm not taking no nigga serious who gotta wear the keychain to keep up with his house key. Don't piss me off, bruh. Don't piss me off, bruh. How old are you like grown as hell walking around with the keychain to keep up with your house key, bro? And I appreciate the initiative. Like I actually need to get me a keychain so I can keep up with some shit, bro. But don't be trying to talk to nobody gangster, bro. Cause it's my birthday, you know what the fuck going on. Big big bag on this shit. Where the hell are we at? Like I keep getting sidetracked from the real point of the video, bro. This look like how like New York probably looked in like New England. If you put New New York in New England, this is how the buildings look in New England. Like everything is made of brick. Like back in like when Paul Revere was thug in and shit back in the day, bro. Everything, every building was like made of brick. Why is that the case here, bro? Brick and stone over here is insane. This is building is made of brick and stone. Stone. St stone. That's like cement. This is not a real place. That was the first time I feel like we've been checkpointed in a city. What just happened? Can we get checked a little bit? I don't know. I don't know. Boys. Did I not just tell y'all everything is made of brick? <laughs> Bro, it's only so much I can take before I start having like a, a existential crisis. Y'all know what that is? I don't know. I don't really think I used it right. I can't. How can I use my words right, bro? This school looks ridiculous, bro. Euler School. That's the name of the school. Euler. O y l e r. Euler School. Uh, that shit does not exist. There's no, nobody named the school that, bro. And if then why should it be named after like somebody who like had a tragic death or something? I'm so sorry for making a joke. Rest in peace to Euler, bro. I'm so sorry about that. I'm. I really am though. I really hope that's not what's going on, bro. It's like look at this right here. Literally like blocks of smooth stone. Like somebody built this shit in Minecraft, bro. This is not real. Like, they're, they're playing in our face now, bro. Look at this crosswalk, bro. Never ever have I seen a nude colored crosswalk, bro. That doesn't exist. It's not, no one, no one makes the crosswalk that color, bro. My name Polo. Nice to meet you, Polo. Nice to meet you too. What's some Cincinnati lingo? Icy white on baby. Icy shit white. Like that. Everything is literally made of brick. This back here is like painted brick. It's just all brick, bro. And he said this, they call what? Lingo. Icy white on baby. Icy shit white. like that. Yeah. It can mean anything for real. Like, if I fought you on one, like, I just icy white as your ass. Like, you guys are not saying that shit, bro. I just icy whited your ass. This is not a real place. I keep telling y'all that. This is not real. These, none of these, have anybody ever seen these niggas in real life? After he left, these people disappeared into nothingness, bro. Bro, I feel like this is one of those things where these people only exist if you're looking at them. Well, that's really everything on earth. It really doesn't, ex it's not there until you look at it. If you're not looking at it, it's not there. Like, I'm looking dead at y'all right now, bro. The video don't exist until I look at it. I can't see it, so it doesn't, it's not there right now. But like, 
but I'm not even trying to get that deep. Y'all know how like in a video game where like if something won't spawn in until you get close to it. That's this is Cincinnati, Ohio. Cincinnati, Ohio won't spawn in until you get close to it. So like uh, you go to oh it's gonna be there if you try to go, bro. I'm telling y'all it's not real. You can be like oh I can go. Of course you can go, bro. But it's because like this is one of those places Cincinnati doesn't spawn in until you get close to it. When no one is looking, these people cease to exist. When nobody's looking at me, I think I'm still here. When nobody's looking at these people, they're gone. Am I losing it, bro? Did I make any sense? I think I'm spitting, bro. Hold on, be naked said that somebody hit him with a bike. This one hit me with a bike? Now you got hit with a bike. What happened to you, man? Hit me with a bike. A motorbike or a pedal bike? Pedal bike. These are completely two different oars, bro. You lie, bro. Your shit small than a motorbike. Y'all can explain shit to me. It sounds to me like he doesn't know what happened. It's really not funny. That man has like a concussion, like in the worst degree. Like, he got hit so hard, he literally forgot what happened to him. They're having to tell him how he got that injury. They don't, it's, it's, it's really not that funny, bro. He should have been at the hospital yesterday. I mean, what's We're up? Gonna be mad if I reached you. If I don't remember, explain it. He genuinely doesn't remember what happened. You know how hard you got to get hit for that? Like, that's like something that only happens on TV. And that's sad, actually, bro. You know how hard you got to get hit to forget what how you got injured? So you just turned 25. What are your reflections on life so far? Honestly, I just live day by day. Went to school, went to college, dropped out of college, started doing dumb shit, yeah. my life up, got back in motion. There's always Oh, no. He just had like a self-reflection moment right there. Like he going to go home and sit on the edge of his bed and he going to just think for a while. Like, also, where did it all go wrong? Shit, like. Why is it so much brick? I keep getting distracted from the point. Like, why is it so much brick? Why does everybody park on the street like this? There's no parking. Like, there's never, there's like one parking lot in the entire city and it's that fat ass parking lot. That's why that parking lot was so big because it's the only one in Cincinnati, bro. Back when like people was like, I don't know, like sending like messages through horse. When niggas were sending mail through horse, this is how the streets look. Everybody parks on the side of the street like this. There's no such thing as a parking lot, bro. This is how the city looked like. Did it just never get updated? Like hurdles, right? But you always have a chance to. Where do things go wrong? My firstborn son was born with a heart problem. Damn, he asked him where did things go wrong. I would have decked that boy in his shit. Don't ask me that, bro. Cause now I'm really sad, bro. Talking about where did it all go wrong? Did you seriously just ask me where did it all go wrong? Maybe I maybe I want to deck bro in this shit. Cause it's like I, I he kind of need that. He kind of need to reflect, bro. After I graduated high school, and that's where I really just forget school and stuff for real. He was three years old when he passed. Sorry to hear that, man. There's so much brick, I'm not even playing, bro. Like, it's not even funny no more, bro. How long did it take to get here like that? About seven years. That dedication. Started him in prison. So tell me your story a little bit. Me and T.E., we do a lot of the music. I just realized he got... He got dreads. I mean, honestly, I've, that's not even the craziest thing I've seen in this video. I don't think nothing's topping the ceiling fan on the porch. Whatever, bro. It's so many different niggas on the planet. Like, it's so many different people on the planet, bro. Look at the church with this random blue stripe. Okay, bro. I'm done asking questions. There's so much brick. There's brick back here. The city just full of brick. I could care less about this nigga hair, bro. It's really bigger shit going on. Together, man, we did a lot of the video shit. Like, we just, as soon as we got together, we just started, you know, really collaborating, really working real, real hard. I went to prison at 18. As soon as I How the fuck did he do that to his hair, though? Like, act on a real note. How did he dread his hair? Got out, man. I just grinded. It's like how cats hair look when they get matted. Do most people mentally break at some point? Yeah, hell yeah. Especially like, you know, America's one of the few places that still use a uh, solitary confinement. That's where a lot of people end up breaking that. I ain't never done a whole lot of time in the whole, you know, TE's done a significant amount of time. 23 and 1. 23 hours locked down, one hour out. That was 23 and 1 is insane, bro. That's like, you know how I be telling y'all when you go to jail for life, it's a permanent ban? Like, what do you call that, bro? How do you explain that then, bro? I gotta think about that, bro. I'm gonna get back to y'all, bro. How do I explain, like, solitary confinement, bro? Like, it's like a ban with suffering. Like, a suffering ban. Like, a torturous ban. Like, I remember I read this post and it was like, if you want to, like, see what it would be like to go to jail, go sit in your bathroom without your phone and see how long you can sit in there. Like, in your bathroom with no entertainment. Like, now imagine having to do that shit every day. Worst year of my life. Yeah. I, I was only in 23 and 1 for a year, but it was most. Only imagine doing it for a year. That church got that random blue stripe. Bro, y'all, I can't even, I can't, bro. Like, y'all, I can't, bro. It's only so much I can take as a human, bro. Look at this fake 
building. A like whole year? Yeah, but it was like 24 most of the time. What did you do for that? For assault. So I was at a medium camp for two years. Nah, 23 and 1 for a year for assault is crazy, bro. Like, it's just so crazy. I depending on, like, I don't know who you come in contact with. Like, your, your, your punishment can be, like, OD. I'm not even gonna get into that, bro. It's just so crazy. I depend on who you come in contact with, who's handling your case, who your judge is, everybody who, like, who's in your jail. Like, you can be doing, you can have some OD ass punishment, bro. The people, where we're at right now? The state block, man. SB. What is some Cincinnati lingo? I'm trying to, I want to blend in a little bit. So I learned it's up. I saw a dude get icy white. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, he's like, bro, I think he might be the only real person here. B, yeah. B just mean winning. What life is like growing up in, in this yeah, area? It's rough, you know, it's, it's life for survival, you know what I'm saying? We lost a lot of guys down here, you know, block over on that corner, a lot of stuff. I wonder for the niggas who not in real life, like the niggas like these niggas here who don't exist for real, like, you know what I'm saying? It's some niggas out there that's not real, bro, but them niggas have memories. So like, how does that work? How's a nigga not real, but he got like memories? Cause you know, the niggas who are not real don't know they're not real. They just go on, happen. Tell me about your fashion choices <laughs> right now. Don't stop putting shit on me about nothing, I just do this shit. Stop doing that shit, bro. Whatever, bro, whatever. It's not the craziest thing I done seen, bro. <laughs> <laughs> grown ass man, he grown as fuck. I have a confession, okay? I've been to a lot of cities. I would say this is the, the highest percentage of sketchy whites I've seen in the area. <laughs> you know that shit wasn't that funny, bro. They thought that that really just that really just got them going, bro. We're sketchy white boy. Why did he keep saying sketchy, bro? They're thugs. What is your guys' advice for the youth? If they see all these music videos that they think they want to be in the streets, what would you tell people, young people watching those type of videos? Be in the streets, but just add to the to the positivity. <laughs> Worst advice ever. Seize that nigga, bro. Don't let, don't. I'm cutting him out if that's me. If I'm editing the video, I'm cutting that part out, bro. They're never gonna. You're never gonna get seen, buddy. They're never gonna know you were here, bro. This nigga said just be in the streets, but just add some positive. That was a wrong answer. It's a nigga who was never in the streets, bro. That's how you know this nigga was never in no type of street, bro. Cause they saying what's your advice for niggas in the streets? This nigga talking about some be in the streets. Just be positive. This nigga ain't never been in nobody's street, bro. Is this a city that you can eat a hot dog in public or do you have to like do it in the privacy of your own home? <laughs> if you're around us, the camera's coming out. I mean, can we let that go, bro? Like, can we do some hard ass Louis Vuitton? So, whoever you, like, I've never seen those before. Those are so hard. And that's my problem because I would buy them shoes and there's nothing that goes with them shits. Look at them. You cannot wear them, bitches. You got to get one outfit, they go with that, and you're never putting them on again because they don't go with nothing else in the world, bro. They're literally yellow and red, but they so hard. That's my problem. Them type of shoes I be buying, like shoes that look hard, but they're not actually practical, bro. Those aren't practical shoes. But look, bro, that's not even what I was going to say, bro. I was going to say, uh, can we let that go? Like that little, oh my gosh, eating a glizzy. That's why the world in shambles like it is now. I believe that joke single-handedly started all that shit. That stupid-ass glizzly gobbler joke. I want to hear bars. If someone's got bars, bars ever stood next to your man's killing, got to keep it cool. Four murders and four nights like it got to be the moon. Niggas screaming out 12 like it got to be at noon. I used to tell them little kids that they got to stay at school. They respond like, flee, we broke, and we got to make a move. Because our daddies ain't around, and our mamas needing food. And that written hand on the first, we don't have it, we got to move. So when I wake up, I pray up, my knees hit the floor. I feel for them little niggas. I was there once before. Damn, that, that might be the only real nigga there, bro. Like, he might be the only actual real person there. Cause I don't think there's an NPC like that can rap like that. I ain't gonna lie, you gotta listen to what he's saying. He's spitting, bro. I like that song. I love that song. That's beautiful, bro. I'm about to tear to my eye, bro. Keep going. Hope y'all enjoyed today's video, man. I appreciate y'all choosing my video to watch. Like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell so you'll see every single time I post. If you listen to me talk right now, that means a lot to me that you watch my video all the way to the end. So I'm saying, I love you. If you listen to me talk right now, comment hashtag roll to 60k in the comment section, man. It's really on the way. You see what I'm saying? And I'm going to see y'all in the next video. And I'm so for real.